everyone. I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service, and it's time now for our weekly Visit Bemidji Area Fishing Report. Hey folks, can you believe it? We're in September already, and the walleye bite is starting to pick up. Water temperatures have now dropped back into the mid-60s for the most part, maybe upper 60s by later in the day. And the walleye bite with a jig and a minnow is starting to heat things up on area lakes. Right now, folks, I'm out here on Lake Bemidji, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm out here jig fishing for walleyes off the edge of a fairly steep break right now. We're just kind of popping that jig, and well, there's one, hold, hold on. There's one right there. Come on, buddy. There's a walleye. Let's see if I can grab my net here. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. There we go. Oh, jeepers. Kind of hard sometimes netting that fish yourself. Nice looking walleye. Nice fish there. Hey, folks, how about that? Nice 19 inch walleye jig fishing with fatheads or golden shiners out here on Lake Bemidji. It's a lot of fun and the fishing is only gonna get better on all area lakes for the walleye bite. Let's get this gal back into the water. Come on, girl. Work her a little bit there. All right, there she goes. Hey, how about that, folks? I'm telling you, this time of the year, the fall fishing can be absolutely wonderful. And once you get past Labor Day, which is upcoming this weekend, man, you can a lot of times have the lakes to yourself. So the walleye bite continues to be good and it's only gonna get better on all the Bemidji area lakes. Now, let's talk about some of the other species. Northern Pike too, they start putting on the feed bag this time of the year and as we get into mid-September, late September into October, great time to be out pike fishing using larger like sucker minnows, pull them along the deep water weed lines, and you have a chance of catching some big, big fish. The bass fishing here in the Bemidji area remains excellent. You can still get them up shallow, and you can get them out there on the deeper parts of the weed lines, things like that. Texas Ridge worms and uh, tube jigs are working really, really well out in the deeper water, and some of those uh, shallow running topwater lures or, or shallow running crankbaits up in the shallower water also are catching fish. You'll still find the crappies on the edge of those deep cabbage areas in anywhere from eight to 12 foot of water, but it won't be long and there'll be a slow migration for those crappies out to those deeper basins in the area. So if you get to an area that you've been catching some crappies and they're no longer there, try some of the deeper water areas and you'll probably be pretty good, uh, have a pretty good success doing that. And from what I've been hearing, I don't do much musky guiding or fishing, but from what I've been hearing, they've been catching a few muskies out here on Lake Bemidji, Lake Plantagenet, and also on Cass and Lee. So it's a great time. The trees are slowly starting to change color. Hey, folks, come on up to Bemidji. You'll be glad that you did. And please remember to ha practice selective harvesting. By doing so, we'll continue to have great fishing for years to come. I'm Dick Beardsley with Dick Beardsley Fishing Guide Service. Have a great Labor Day weekend coming up. <laughs>